Hello, I am Dr. Sharita Tayer of Brown Girls Rock here with Miss Kiara Fletcher, one of our board members with Brown Girls Rock, and we are coming to you from DETV's Every Woman. So today we're here to talk about what is Brown Girls Rock? So to start it off, Brown Girls Rock is a nonprofit organization geared toward empowering our brown girls. What do you mean by brown girls? So our girls of color, whether it's African-American, Hispanic, Latino, Asian, Indian, all of our girls of color, those are the girls that we focus on here within our program. Um, Here coming up, which we'll talk about more towards the end, but we have the Brown Girls Rock Summer Festival coming up this Saturday. Um, And Miss Kiara Fletcher runs one of our therapy programs with the girls 8 to 11? 12 and up. 12 and up. 12 and up. Um, So my question is going to be to Miss Kiara, what do you think of when you hear Brown Girls Rock? Well, first of all, I would like to say thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here, and I'm so looking forward to this weekend. Um, When I think about Brown Girls Rock, I think of... you know, just being true, being authentic, being who you are. You know, I think about a lot of times when you hear brown girls, um, there's just so much about that word or those words, brown girls rock. But having that in itself and standing firm in who you are is what I truly believe in. And that's what I think about when I hear brown girls rock, because we do rock. Mm-hmm. So I think that is, you know, it's extremely important. So. Mm-hmm. And when you say that, I think that there are times Um, And we've even run into it while, you know, promoting this event that we have coming up. Um, Some people aren't open or let me just say this. Some people cringe or become uncomfortable when they hear the words brown girls rock. Mm -hmm. Um, We've even heard people say we're racist and we're excluding and things of that nature. And we want to let you know, like, that is not what we're about. We are all inclusive. You know, everybody is welcome to attend our program as well as come to our events. Um, And so just because this is the Brown Girls Rock Summerfest, you don't have to be a brown girl to attend. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just like the Italian festival, the Jamaican festival. Um, And it's ironic that we always have to explain that Mm -hmm. or feel like we have to defend our program or what it is that we do. Because some people are just small minded when it comes to those words. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's go over a little bit. What do we do within our program, um, such as what will be taught with these girls 12 and up mm-hmm. um, during these workshops? Yes. Yeah, so I myself, I am running the 12 and up for self-love and also grief and loss. Um, I think it's important and it's, it's extremely important for a younger girl like myself. I'm only 29, so mm-hmm. I'm not that old. But I think it's very important for, you know, younger girls to see that representation in a girl like myself, you know, coming from no silver spoon, but still mm-hmm. being able to, you know, navigate through life and putting myself through college and all of those different type of, type of, types of things. But mm-hmm. unfortunately, life happens, you know, to all of us. So when we talk about grief and loss, everyone has lost someone, whether it be a family member, whether it be a friend, whether it be a pet, you know, everyone has experienced that loss. So it's just important for our girls to kind of have that community and come together to talk about these things in a healthy way, you know, instead of holding it in. Mm -hmm. And also self-care. Like when you talk about self-care, what does that look like? A lot of times we are showing up for our friends. We're showing up for our careers and our businesses and all of these different things. But what does it look like to really have self-love for yourself? What does it look like to take care of yourself and being okay with that? You know, mm-hmm. giving yourself that grace and that time to say, you know what, I'm okay. Like, I'm I'm going to be okay. I have community. I have people that I can reach out to. I have people that I can connect with to allow me to keep on going through this life. Because, you know, there's just so much, you know, thrown us, especially in this generation. I want to speak to this generation for sure. Like, um, today is just so much that we are going through so much that you're seeing in the media, so much that you're seeing, you know, in your schools and your jobs and your places. So it's just important for us to really come together to have these conversations and to make sure that we're mentally okay. Uh Uh I agree. Um, I was actually, I saw some statistics and that's what I was kind of looking up on my phone. 
but it talked about how um, the African American children. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Suicide rates. Wow. For African American youth between the ages of ten and nineteen, increased fifty four percent from year two thousand eighteen to two thousand twenty two. Fifty four percent, and that's children. What, what I think it was was what I say ten to eighteen or was it five to eighteen? Yeah, ten to nineteen. Age ten to nineteen suicides. They're harming themselves. They don't have these outlets. There is a stigma mm -hmm. about obtaining mental health. You're not cool if you're going to counseling. Something's wrong with you. That is the stigma that they are hearing, and that's not true. Mm -hmm. So I think a part of our program is also trying to eliminate that stigma. That it's okay mm -hmm. to get help if you're not feeling a certain way, if you are depressed. Whatever it may be, you are not alone. You are not crazy. Like, I think I, if I think that we push that to m the most with mm -hmm. our program, um, because mental health is so very important. Um, and just it, not even just with our youth, but mm -hmm. with our um, African American community, uh -huh. getting counseling and it's like it's almost unheard of. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do it. They, they don't want to be looked at as being, quote unquote, different. Mm -hmm. um, so eliminating that stigma is something that we definitely um, like to focus on. So what would you recommend for the girl who may not even have the resources? Uh, what would you recommend for them to do? Because, you know, some girls, they might they might not have the mother or the father, but they have the grandparents mm -hmm. to help them get the resources. But what if they don't even have that? Like, what would you recommend? What would you say to that girl? I would definitely say that it's it's extremely important to make sure that you are surrounding yourself with people that care about you. And it may not be, you know, your your grandmother or your mother or your dad or whoever, but it may just be a friend. You know what? And I realized that even with Brown Girls Rock, I think that us coming together and there are different women, different girls, different people that are going to be there that don't know each other. However, we may can relate in so many different ways. So being in a space where you have people that look like you or may not look like you mm -hmm. that are dealing with and going through the same things that you're going through. But if we're not talking about it, we don't know. Mm -hmm. So I would tell that girl to make sure that you are surrounding yourself with people that you know, are, are wanting to make change or wanting to get help or wanting better for themselves. And that starts at Brown Girls Rock. That starts at, you know, coming to these events and saying, OK, I belong here. You know, mm -hmm. it's something for everyone. It's a commonality. It's absolutely like sisterhood. You're right. That we create. And especially with our ambassadors. Yeah. Um, yes. it's creating that bond, that sisterhood. Yes. That um, someone you can bounce things off of yes. who who not only are going through similar things mm -hmm. that you may be going through but also who look like you. Yes. Um, I've had a mother come and tell me after one of the um, events last year, and she said, you know, my daughter just said, you know what, Mom, everybody there look like me. Wow. And it wasn't even about skin tone because this young lady was very fair skin, like very, very light skin. Mm -hmm. um, but she identified that, these are my sisters. Like, right. this is where I belong. Um, and the great thing about our program is that we don't discriminate. So even if a, a Caucasian American walks yeah. in there, whatever it may be, you a sister. Come on. Right. Come on in. Right. We're going to love on you. We're going to treat you all the same. Like, there is no different treatment. We don't teach these girls that. That is not the objective of the program. It's all inclusive. Um, what made you, Kiara, <laughs> want to be a part of this Brown Girls Rock movement, is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> yes, because it's definitely a movement. <laughs> but what made me want to be a part of this is because I see the vision in itself and also, you know, the, the target audience. Cause I believe when you're doing something right, you have a vision for a certain plan, but then you also know what it is that you want. 
And I think that with Brown Girls Rock, it's like, all right, no, we are touching this area. We are touching this community. We're doing these things with a passion Mm -hmm. and, you know, on purpose. And it means something. So when you see a group, when you see a movement happening, you want to be a part of something great. Like you want to be able to make change, make an impact, you know, Mm -hmm. especially being from Wilmington, Delaware, myself, like this starting in Delaware is something major, something big. And then you had said something just a little while ago when you were saying how, you know, we have to have a space where like these people and these children can come to and giving them something to look forward to instead of just being out doing whatever like no come to this event come be a part of this sisterhood come actually you know enjoy yourself have fun with people that look like you so I think that's important and the reason why I'm a part of it is because of that and I think that you know we get to shine our light so Mm -hmm. and that's a good point that you make um someone also recently brought up to me about having fun right how do you have fun um, because even us, even us as, as grown women, as adult brown women, we get so mixed up in the day to day life, whether mm-hmm. it's work, family, children, um, getting back up, doing it all over again the very next day. When do you have fun and then how? Mm-hmm. So our goal at Brown Girls Rock is to definitely, you know, show these girls that it's OK to have fun. Yes. It's OK to laugh and yes. be silly and you know, just be yourself mm-hmm. um, because, you know, with the trauma that may go on and the especially here in the city of Wilmington. Yes. Um, and, and and thankfully, Wilmington is coming up where there's so, so much program out there for mm-hmm. the youth. Um, but the girls just need to know how. Right. How do you have fun? Right. How how. Do you smile mm-hmm. in the midst of everything that's going on? Mm-hmm. Um, so with our festival, we also have a lot going on. Yes. It's <laughs> this Saturday, July 20th from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, we do recommend that you purchase your tickets online. Online, yes. To yeah. avoid those lines. It's a sale right now. Check us out, Black Girls Rock. Brown, okay. girl, brown, brown girl, brown girl, brown rock, 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 org. org. Yes, and um, the code is Blake. Yep, B L A K E, and you get five dollars off your ticket. Um, and so what's going to be going on there? And I'm probably going. You're gonna have to help me out with this, but because every time I name everything that's going on, I sh- I'm pretty sure I forget something. But it's live entertainment. Our entertainment is a brown girl lineup. Um, so we have a long list of entertainment with dancers and singers and performers. Um, we have a couple of, uh, candidates who are running one, um, uh, Wayna of Wilmington, uh-huh. uh, Wayna Dobson. She'll be there speaking about her candidacy as well as, um, Lisa Black Rochester yeah. is running for Senate. Woo-hoo-hoo. So she is also going to be present. Um, we also have a live DJ. We have Naj and Jay, who will be our host. We have horseback riding, pony rides, mechanical bull, moon bounding, face painting, uh, carnival foods. We love our carnival foods, popcorn, cotton candy, snow cones. We have food vendors. Yes. Jamaican food, Lots of food uh, American, uh, Mexican. Yeah. I think we even have like um, a Mexican dessert truck. We do, yes. <laughs> I'm looking forward um, to that. <laughs> so lots of food. We also are going to have the Mother's Lounge. And I love the Mother's Lounge Ooh, because this Talk is about the be- Mother's Lounge. Yes. <laughs> this is my time to talk to the mothers. How can uh, Brown Girls Rock be of assistance to these mothers? So mm-hmm. this is my time to get in there and talk with the moms. Um, and, and there they're going to have their own set of games, their own hosts, some mocktails going on. Um, so that's actually going to be indoor. Um, we have our workshops yeah. here. You could touch on the workshops. I don't have that. I know we have bullying, self-care. Yes. Yeah, so we bullying, self-care, advocacy. We are also doing a leadership panel. So it's going to be myself, Brittany Powell. Ebony Madre and Tawana Peterson. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. We're going to be running a leadership panel, so that's going to be great. Make sure y'all check that out. Um, but yes, bullying, um, self care, grief and loss, advocacy, all of these different things. So yeah, going to be amazing. 
And that's one of the things that um, we also will talk about within the Mother's Lounge when we talk about bullying. Mm -hmm. Um, So not only are we going to talk about being bullied, we're going to talk about what do you do when your kid is the bully? Mm. Because nobody wants to talk about that, right? Ooh, Their accountability. Do that. <laughs> Not my kid. My kid wouldn't dare. But so that's one thing we're also going to address within the mother's lounge. Um, there's some retail vendors, uh, brown girl authors in our yeah. author's row. Yeah. Um, shout out to us authors. Yes. You'll be there with your book. Yes, I will. For sure. Um, We'll also have the Brown Girls Rock table where you can get your Brown Girls Rock t-shirt, hat, cowboy hat. Oh, we almost left that out. So this year's theme is boots and bling. And so you come dressed in your cowgirl attire. There's going to be some line dancing. Um, I can't wait to see. Dr. Sharita, I'm coming. I'm shining with my cat girl hat and my boots. I hope y'all ready, okay? <laughs> definitely, definitely. I can't wait to see all the girls in their attire. Um, we are giving out our first scholarship this yes. year. Yes, and one of the sponsors along with our sponsor um with this scholarship, um, this is the Cynthia Marie uh scholarship award. Um, and it's going to uh, one of the ambassadors um who kind of pushed through and finished high school and now she's gone off to college. That's amazing. Yes. So this is our first year scholarship and our goal is to get to where we can give these girls full rides one day. Yeah, we're going to speak that into it. To existence, it's going to happen. Yes. Black yes. Girls Rock Incorporated, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and um, what else? So we got that going on. Um, Talked about the event. Oh, meet the Disney princesses. The princesses will be there. We already sent face painting, mm-hmm. dream catcher making, vision boards, cupcake decorate. It's just going to yeah. be a good time. It's going to be a great time. It's bring your time. Bring your lawn chairs, um, blankets, whatever you want. It's supposed to be 86 degrees on Saturday <laughs> and cloudy as of right now, which is nice weather. Yeah. Hopefully the sun isn't shining so I, bright. I hope it stays there because these these 95s is crazy. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. I think we could do that if it, if it stays cloudy. Yeah. That might be great. And so our goal is to um, also have this programming throughout the year. And we're starting that in this coming October. We have two events that we are lining up for October of this year, which is going to be the mother's event solely for the mothers. Um, and then we're also going to be doing another event for the youth, the girls actually ages eight through 17. We're thinking of taking them down to um, Washington, D.C., visit the African-American Museum, um and just doing some uh hands-on work with them the drive there and then drive back Mm -hmm. um so we got a lot of things lined up our goal is to also get a building where we can hold some of our program and then on into the schools um because free mental (laughs) health um is needed. Yeah. It's needed for these children and they need to know that it's okay. Absolutely. It, it is perfectly fine to obtain. Um, what else do you want to say with regard to whether it's this weekend's event or what we have coming up over the next year or so? I'm just excited about Brown Girls Rock in a whole. And even if you're not able to make it this Saturday, like Dr. Sharita was explaining, there's going to be so many things that are coming Um, to even close out 2024 and then going into 2025 be a part of the movement Mm -hmm. like I said I'm I'm all about community and it's just so 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 important for you know us to come together and you know make a change like that's Mm -hmm. really really important and have this sisterhood and create this and like you said not even just all the time work 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 but also having fun and doing so so if you can't even make it this week you know check us out visit our website Instagram, subscribe. Facebook, subscribe, all of those things because we're going to do stuff. We're doing some amazing things and I'm excited. So for sure. All right. Well, that's it. I hope that you can come out on Saturday. And like Kiara said, if you can't like and subscribe yes. and hopefully you'll be able to show up for Brown Girls Rock too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.